In this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, plot distance and bearing of a lot or a parcel of land in uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D. So I already have this uh, table inside uh, my AutoCAD application. We have uh, the table contains three columns. Uh, the first one is line, bearing and distance. So uh, the lines uh, from HV to H15, you can see the bearing there and then you have the distance. We are going to use this information to plot uh, that particular lot or, or parcel of land. So we are going to start by uh, uh, creating lines. So in order to create a line, you type in the L command. That is a shortcut and then click on line. Or you can as well go to at the top here, we have a draw. Then you just click there and click on create line then you just left click anywhere inside this working space and you start feeding in the information and normally we start with the distance then the bearing uh, for you to insert the distance you need to uh, type at and that is you press down shift and two on your keyboard and then you type in the distance which is 20.30 and before you hit enter you enter the information, uh, the bearing information, in which you uh, press down shift and a comma on your keyboard, that is to insert the less than symbol. And then uh, you type in the bearing uh, information that is as it is here without uh, the space. So we start with uh, N for north, 11 uh, degrees. Uh, so D denotes degrees or stands for degrees and then 59 apostrophe stands for minutes and then uh, 46 then press down shift and um, apostrophe to insert the quote uh, I don't know how to call this uh, I think it's double quotes or whatever so after that you hit enter oh sorry I forgot to uh, type W for West then you type enter you can see now we have that line uh, HV to H15 uh, the same process applies for the second line HV to H15 we start uh, with the distance press down shift and add then you type in the distance which is 61 then press down shift and a comma and type in the bearing which is N north 47 uh, degrees 57 minutes 25 seconds east you hit enter and the line is created the third line h17 to h40 the same process press down shift and 2 to insert at then uh, uh, the distance there is uh, 70.37 Press down shift and comma and then uh, the bearing information is S south 38 uh, degrees D 54 uh, minutes and 10 seconds east E for east you place you press enter so you can either close here or you can insert the information as it is for HV H40 to HV so press down shift again uh, and 2 then the distance there is 85.48 and then the bearing is uh, S 86 uh, degrees 0 minutes and then 30 seconds west you press enter so we have uh, our lot there now uh, we're going to label these lines go to annotate and add labels and then at the bottom we have line and curves uh, choose the first one add lines and curve labels and then you click on add button so you click on each and every uh, line and the labels will be added 
like so uh, then you press escape to get out of the editing session now uh, let's just confirm uh, one of the lines hv to h15 this was the first line and we can see the bearing there is n or not 11 degrees 59 uh, minutes and 46 uh, seconds west and that's what we have here the distance there is 20.30 and i can confirm that uh, all these uh, information are actually correct as per the uh, the table that we have now the next step uh, let's just insert the points and then so for you to insert the points go to points tab and then under create points miscellaneous choose manual and then make sure i'm going to make sure that uh, the intersection snap snapping is on so i think there is a Also make sure that the end point snapping is on. Now if I go to point and I select there, we can enter the point description and call that. So it was the first point HV. Uh, so you type in HV, enter, elevation just give it zero. The second point is uh, H15, H15 type 0 third point is uh, h17 and uh, h17 enter 0 enter and lastly is uh, h40 h40 like so enter and the elevation is 0 so uh, I'm going to select one of the uh, points that I've just created. Go to select similar, and then if I pull these properties, or I can just right click inside here and click on uh, properties, and then you add point labels and select description only, like that. And right there, we have the point descriptions and uh, so that's how you uh, plot lines using uh, the bearing and distance information and uh, that's all for this tutorial i'll see you in the next one